Time for What Are the Odds as we look at over-unders for Sterling Shepard on the Giants and Jamison Crowder on the Jets. For Shep, number of receiving yards is set at 775 and a half and Crowder 825 and a half. Both are minus 110, so you'd have to bet $110 to win 100 on the over or under. Sal Licata and John Jastrzemski on hand. Sal, which of these receivers is primed to have the better season? I probably would go with Sterling Shepard. I always love Jamison Crowder as a player, but I think he's going to come down a little bit, JJ. Not because of anything to do with him, but you look at the weapons around the Jets. So Herndon, him coming back, Mims. The Jets have some other options. I think Le'Veon Bell is going to be catching a lot of balls out of the backfield. I think Sterling Shepard is ready to be that number one. He's got to stay healthy. That's been the biggest issue. Daniel Jones, his second year. I know it's a new offensive system with Joe Judge, but I think Sterling Shepard, the better overall receiver of the two, so I'll go with him. See, I'm going with old reliable here. I'm going with Jamison Crowder because you hit on it with Sterling Shepard. The guy does not play enough football. And when I see the emergence of Darius Slayton, who had that great connection, if you go back to last year with Daniel Jones, I, I just look at the Jet offense. Robbie Anderson's gone. Yes, Mims is there. You're right about Chris Herndon. But I just think there's still going to be room for that chemistry, which we saw last year. Sam Darnold, Jamison Crowder, I think we get a lot of it. I think he goes over. I think he has the better season. Well, guys, I like to give a tiebreaker. And this time, I'm going with JJ. I'm leaning Crowder because he's looking like more of the clear-cut number one option for Sam Darnold. And I'm a little worried about health for Shepard. And Sal, you get no time to rebut. But thanks, guys. <laughs>